There she is. Let's get ready to rumble! TikTok in progress here. What do you think your meal so far, Dad? Fantastic. Fantastic. I haven't even opened it. That's correct. Yeah. But it's still fantastic. Yeah. It's out on a okay guys, we're eating the chips here now. Delightful fries. Bit of ketchup on the end. Paper fork, it's okay. Very good. Post. Now guys, this is the main unpacking here of the Fleischermeister. We open it up, what do we have? A fine brioche bun, a bit of cheese, a bit of rasher there. What else can we see from the outside? We'll open it up. A bit of onion, a lot of cheese, and we got that fine beef burger underneath. And now, as an Evan Vlogs first experience, we're going to eat this. Irish nearly fell out of it. It's good. It has a good mix of sauce. I think the burger could be a bit burgerier, but there's that good variation, and you can tell thought and effort has gone into this. That's all for me, folks. I'll check back later. Now, my friends, we have a lot of bell pepper inside this burger, which I was not expecting. I didn't really look at the ingredients, to be honest, but it's still a fine burger. So I think it'd be on par with the premier takeaway, South Main Street, Wexford. If a beer is 100% something, only 5.7% alcohol, then it must be 94.3% something else. Something else is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's mazy, it's malty, it's hoppy, it's got everything you want in a beer, and there's 5.7% alcohol. And um, 10, I would give Burgermeister out of 10 for the burgers, 10. But for the beer, I give it 11. Right. Revan Steiner CMV yeah. Velton. So it's original. It's it's. Um, I, I can't. Uh, don't get this normally in Wexford. Um. Don't get this normally in Wexford. Um. Available in all good former public toilets right here. Um, so overall, though, my review of Burgermeister would be to give probably the chips. I'm going to say an eight out of ten. And the burger is 7.5, which gives Burgermeister a 77.5 out of 100, which is still well above the base mark. But simultaneously, I think I had higher hopes for this evening. Um, now, is it quite a Mustafa's donor kebab? I don't think so. Review to follow tomorrow. Thanks, fans. And for public transport links, I would rate Burgermeister a solid 9 out of 10 with a fine Ubanhof right next to it. I highly recommend. It was flat out to be fair to him, but he probably wasn't the best at customer service now. Well, but um, so here, guys, we have today 
I will try of Currywurst Vorst mit Pommes. Um, so what we're talking here now is, I think they were, they were frozen chips. I'll be honest with you here, but this is now what the Germans would call a Schnellimbiss uh, fast food emporium. So this is my first bite here, my first chip. Nice little crunch on them. Bit of salt, not too much salt. Um, but you know, quite fulfilling. Yeah. Here we go on to first bit of worst. <laughs> it's not the worst I've had. This is very good German sausage right here. Okay, so that's that meal eaten now. That was uh, nice. You know, it was nice. It was. The sausages weren't the most consistent, the chips weren't the most consistent. Some of them were very well cooked and some of them were cooked. Um, so yeah, I would give that a solid 6 out of 10. Um, the sauce is probably a 6.5, the chips is probably a 5.5. One place which I have not reviewed is Mustafa Demir's <coughs> Donor Kebabery. Um, I will attach pictures here because when I went... We all need to know the signs of COVID-19 and what to do there I did not realize I'd be vlogging it so yeah it's a fine establishment a solid 9 out of 10 I would say one of Berlin's finest if I can say that mm. it's the forbidden burger menu